Motorcycles, travel, and family. Allow me to give you a glimpse into what it's all about. Well, I suppose really we'd have to start back with my dad in 1969 when he got his first bike. Because after all, he got me into bikes. Well, he started out on a Triumph Bonneville, and he did a total redo of the stock motorcycle, engine, pipes, all that stuff. And he topped it off with candy apple red paint and gold inlay flames. He said it literally rattled so hard that the nuts and bolts fell out of the thing as he rode it down the street. And as years passed and kids came rolling along, I think motorcycles sort of fell out of the spotlight for him. That is, until the big Harley Davidson craze of the mid-90s hit, and my dad just had to saddle up on a brand new 94 Ultra Glide. Well, it was on that bike that we took our first trip together, him and I, to attend the Hog Rally in West Branch, Michigan. And this was kind of a big deal. I was 10 years old, and it was my baptism into the biker lifestyle. It was there where I experienced firsthand the glue that motorcycles can form between people, and in our case, between father and son. I don't think I could have possibly been more psyched. That is, until I got my own set of wheels at age 11. A little Honda 90cc dirt bike that I rode the bejesus out of. It was awesome. And in a few short years, I graduated to a real cruiser at the age of 16. And that very next summer, my dad and I made the pilgrimage out to the largest motorcycle event held in the world, the Sturgis Rally in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Well, it was through this first westbound trip that we began to realize just how incredibly massive this country is, and what better do we have to do than to go out and see it all. So we sort of unofficially dedicated the month of August, every summer, to head out west, and to see a new part of this land, some place we had never been to, but have always dreamt about. So in 05, we left Sturgis and the Black Hills behind to go explore the Rockies in Colorado, and the mountains just blew us away. And the fact that the Rockies only grow grander and wilder the farther north you go brought us to British Columbia in 2006, where we caught our first glimpse of the Pacific Ocean. The Appalachians got their own treatment when we pointed our hogs southbound in 2007 to traverse the spine of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And in the summer of 08, we embarked upon one of the most enduring and challenging trips of them all, a voyage into the belly of the Southwest, where we melted and molded ourselves into the red and brown landscapes of Arizona and Utah, New Mexico and Nevada. We even rode upon a different kind of saddle, one that brought us straight down into the depths of the Grand Canyon, a sight that every American should see. And though it's only my opinion, and it might be right or wrong, but I think that pavement is what makes this country so great. And traveling on a motorcycle makes it so real. But sharing that experience with someone who means so much to you, now that is really what it's all about.